Okay, if you follow my channel, you know I've done a lot of EDC reviews on flashlights, knives. Uh, I've done a lot of camera gear uh, reviews. So it's not uh, unusual for me to take a look at items like flashlights. So here we go. And this is a brand new brand that I'd never heard of before called Spotlight. And they have a shifter series of lights, and that's what we're looking at right here. And these, one of them uses one AAA battery, and the other uses two AAA batteries. And then we're going to look at a larger light that uses four AAA batteries that is a really bright light. And um, here I am opening, I'm using a Spyderco Delica. And again, I have a lot of knife reviews on my channel as well. If you're into knives, take a look, um, just do keyword knives. And um, these plastic packages are always kind of a pain to open. So take take a, a page out of the Apple Playbook and let's make this packaging easier to open, folks. But anyway, they're, most all of the manufacturers do this. So that's not a knock on these particular lights. They're very, they seem, my first impressions, this is what you're going to get in this video, is my first impressions of these lights. I'm going to do some more extensive testing and do another video later, and I'll do some comments, um, some updates in the comments after I do some more extensive testing. But my initial impression is that these are very high-quality uh, lights. They're made in China, but a lot of high-quality gear is coming out of China these days. A lot of the Spyderco knives are made in in China and they're very high quality and of course the iPhones are made in China they're very high quality so China doesn't mean low quality anymore uh, they can have very high quality control and they can crank out some very high quality items and these seem to be uh, those so the switches on these feel very nice the overall construction the aluminum construction feels very nice feels very strong some of them are actually waterproof. Some of them are water resistant. These are deemed water resistant. So out in the rain and all that is fine. Just don't immerse them. Don't uh, go scuba diving with them. But they do have some that are also rated as waterproof. And I haven't, these are the three that I've seen so far. These, these three lights that you're seeing right, right in, in the screen now. And uh, hopefully I'll take a look at some of their other models later on. But they also sent me a rather extensive brochure going through the shifter series and the different types of lights they have and the construction and so forth. And the I'll tell you, the quality of the beam on these these is very high. It, it, it rivals some of the really expensive uh, Phoenix flashlights I have and Eagle Tech and 4.7s. And, and these, these lights are every bit as clean. The reflectors seem to be as every bit as high quality. The bulbs seem to be extremely high quality. So I'm, I'm really impressed with the overall functionality and the, the light that these put out. Uh, for the, the run times that they're claiming on these, the amount of light that they're putting out is very good. So they must be pretty efficient. And it didn't feel very hot. I put my hand in front of the light, had it on for a while, and, and didn't feel a whole lot of heat uh, coming off of it. So they figured out a way to be pretty efficient as far as the use of, of power on these. The, um, I think the big one there, I think it's rated at something like three hours runtime, so, uh, which is pretty good at, at, uh, at high power. And, of course, I'll do some more testing, and if, and if any of this proves not to be the case, then I'll, I'll update my comments, and I'll, I'll put it right in there that, hey, testing has revealed that it doesn't last as long as they say it should. I usually use rechargeable batteries in my lights anyway so that I can recharge them. And uh, I use the, um, I think they're Sanyo Interloop batteries. I think that's what they call them. I buy them at Costco, and they really hold up great to a lot of uh, charges. And um, they're, they're a good choice for these lights. Now, the lights that I carry on my person all the time, I usually use uh, lithium batteries in them because they just last so long. And in case I, I, I you know, really am relying on it. By the way, this light will tail stand on a flat surface. I couldn't get it to do it on this um, uh, padded surface here, but it will tail stand. The other two smaller lights will not because the switch protrudes out and it's a rounded switch, so they will not tail stand. That's one thing I do like in my lights is I like them to be able to tail stand, but the pen lights like this very often will not um, tail stand. Uh, so that's something to uh, think about when you order the light. But again, they have quite a selection in their catalog. So they have just about something for everybody, and they have some really creative lights. They have one that goes right in your 
cigar lighter in your car, and I guess charges right off of the cigar lighter. Again, I haven't seen that one yet, so I'll let you know when I when I actually get my hands on some of those other lights as far as what my impressions are of those. You can see I'm going to flip through the catalog here, and they talk about how they're indestructible, they're multifunction, and so forth. They have uh, the uh, strobe function, and they have different brightness levels, which are very easy to control with the uh, the switch on the back. And I do like the the rubberized switch on these that it really feels nice some of my other lights you know you twist them to turn them on and that's that's okay that has its place but I kind of like the the tail switch the switch on the end that you just push with your thumb on most of my lights so that, so again they have various models but these three that I've, I've looked at today all three have the uh, switch on the end and there you can see the the brochure and I don't know if this ships with all the lights that you buy but if it does it's a heck of a brochure it goes into all kinds of details about whether or not they're waterproof or not the run times the amount of light that they put out uh, the construction of them really informative brochure and when I it, oh by the way this little plastic piece I'm showing now that was in the light that you had to remove so that the battery didn't go dead sitting in the light so when you get the light the batteries are actually in it already and you have to take it apart and pull that little plastic piece out so that it will function so something to keep in mind I didn't notice that right away so I thought hey this light isn't coming on what's going on here so I had to remove that you can see here some uh, headlight head head mounting options to put it on your head and and again you can see there there's some lights that um, go in the car and uh, keychain lights I like the little keychain lights those really come in handy I've got keychain lights on almost all my keychains and those do come in handy there's a USB adapter where you can charge the uh, light using the USB and then again there's the cigarette lighter cigar lighter uh, uh, lights that you charge that way so they've really got some innovative products and again I I had not heard of this brand if you've heard of this brand and had experience with them please share it in the comments because spotlight looks like they're gonna come on strong as far as EDC lighting goes and um, they've even got an 800 number on the back of their brochure you see there and they've got their website address, spotlightgear.com, spotlightgear.com. By the way, I'm shooting this with an NEX7 with the Zeiss 24mm f1.8 lens, in case you want to know what I'm using to shoot this uh, video right now. And um, I do the what little editing I do, I do in Final Cut Pro 10. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I will keep you posted as I continue to experiment with these wonderful flashlights. Thanks for tuning in.